In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the point of view eyes opening effect right inside of Adobe After Effects. So let's get into it. So once you're inside of Adobe After Effects, you've got a brand new composition created. We first want to begin by dragging our footage onto our timeline. So as you can see, I've got this shot of me lying on the floor, just looking up. And this is going to be kind of where you're using this effect. It's going to be somebody waking up. They're on the ground, they're waking up and you can see their eyes opening. So this effect is actually really simple. So to begin with, we're just going to first go and create a new black video. So we'll go layer, new solid. We'll change the color of this solid to black. Press OK on this. Press OK on this. We're just going to zoom out. We'll go to around 50%. We'll go up to the pen tool and we're just going to draw a really rough mask in the middle of our composition. This does not need to be perfect. Now we'll go into our black solid, select the drop down arrow, go into masks, mask one, and we're going to go over to inverted. Now from here, we want to go to mask feather and we want to increase the feathering quite a substantial amount. So we're gonna go up to around 300. There you go, that looks really awesome. Now we need to animate this effect. So we're going to zoom back out to 50%. We're gonna to go to our black solid. We'll move roughly one second to the right and we'll create a brand new keyframe on the mask path. Now we'll go back to the very beginning and we'll select all of those points at the top of the mask and we'll move them down towards the middle of the video. Now we'll just select all of those bottom points and we'll just drag those up to the middle as well. This doesn't need to be perfect. Again, this can be very rough. And if we play this back, you'll notice we've got this eye opening effect happening. Now from here, we're just gonna go in between these two keyframes and we're just going to create a brand new keyframe. So this is essentially going to create a keyframe in the middle of these and we're gonna drag this keyframe over to the right. So this is somewhere halfway between closed and open. So if we play this back from the beginning, our eyes open and then they immediately start to shut again. So we're gonna take the second keyframe. We'll go Command C or Control C if you're on Windows. We'll move over a few frames and Command V, Control C. Of course though, we've still got a few keyframes to create before we finish with this effect. So we're just gonna to go to the last keyframe We'll move over a few frames to the right. We'll select that last frame, hold Command C and Command V to paste that in. And then we'll go all the way over to the right at about five seconds. And then we're just going to completely open the eyes. So at this point, you wanna go back into our mask. We're going to select all of those top points in the mask, and we're just going to drag those up. And you want to pull them just off screen so we can still slightly see the black, but not much. And then we'll drag those bottom keyframes and we'll do the exact same thing again. So we'll just drag those down towards the bottom, slightly off screen, but not completely off screen. Now that's starting to look really good, but the problem is the animation is a little bit too animated. Because these are hard keyframes, we're going from closed to open, we stop, then back to closed, we stop, and then back to open again. It looks a bit robotic and you can tell it's animated. So this is where we need to add some keyframe interpolation and we're going to add some easy ease. Essentially, it's going to slowly accelerate and de-accelerate into each and every keyframe. So it looks a bit more natural. So we'll select all of those keyframes that we've just created, right click on any one of them. We'll go to keyframe assistant and select easy ease. And that will look a lot better. Now that is essentially the end of the eye opening effect, but if you wanted to make your character seem more out of it and a bit more confused, we're going to add a bit of blur around to the edges. So we're gonna close down our black solid. We'll go into layer, new, adjustment layer. We'll drag the adjustment layer underneath our black solid. We'll go into effects and presets and search for blur. And that's gonna load up all sorts of different blurs here but we're just gonna go for a fast box blur and we'll drop that onto our adjustment layer. Now you want to increase the blur radius up to around 15% and we'll select repeat edge pixels. As you can see, if we don't select repeat edge pixels, we've got this black border around our video, but turning repeat edge pixels on will get rid of that black border. Now from here, we need to create a mask around this adjustment layer so that we haven't got the blur across the entire screen. We just want it on those edges. 
So we're going to zoom out to 50%. We'll go up to the pen tool and we're just going to draw a rough mask around the outside of that video. So it's just going to catch the edges. Of course, though, at the moment, everything inside the mask is blurry. And everything outside the mask is not blurry. We want to switch that. So we're going to adjustment layer, masks, mask one, and we'll go over to inverted and select inverted. Then we'll just increase the mask feather to add a little bit of softness and transition that blurring us from the edge into the center of the frame. So there you go. That is the eyes opening point of view effect right inside of Adobe After Effects. It's really quick and really simple. So thank you for watching. I really appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you on the next video. See you there.